welcome to The Business of Being a Virtual Assistant. I'm your host, Tiffany Parson, and you're watching, listening to episode number 225. Well, 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 well. Another week of the podcast. And actually this week, I don't have a topic in particular. I have notes in front of me, but I don't know if I really want to go off of what I've written here. So I decided to turn the camera on and just let it flow, see what happens. I can always re-record if necessary. Let me just tell you, I'm dealing with some issues and I'm going to share these things because I want you to know no matter what year you are in your business, there's always going to be something that you're going to have to deal with. So this is where we are. And even though this is my 14th year in business, it's really my second year in business because my team started two years ago. So it's 14 for me, two for my team. And really, I think I said this before, like we're starting over. We are starting over. And so everything that I did as a solo helps with the team process. But there are also new things that come up with the team. So anyway, the issues don't have anything to do with the team, really. But I needed to say that because I have to look at things in a whole different way. Um, the first thing is our website. Our website has been neglected for a while now and it's loading slow and it needs to be redesigned. And I haven't redesigned the website yet because I haven't had time to get my mind quiet enough to figure out what I wanted to say and to look like. And It's crazy saying that because I know how to do all the things. It's just a matter of what things. And I'm I'm being like many of my website clients were when they didn't know what content, but they just knew they needed a website. That is not an ideal time to outsource someone when you know you need it, but you don't know details of it, right? bad time to outsource to someone you gotta be able to communicate to them they can't be your voice they don't know your level of creativity and who you're talking to like you have to communicate all that stuff to them and if you're not ready for that It's not a good time to outsource. If your clients aren't ready for that, it's not a good time for them to outsource to you. You'll just be frustrated, very frustrated. I've been there, been on the other side of it, which is kind of why I don't like doing website redesigns anymore, simply because people don't know what they want. Now, if I know somebody knows exactly what they want, and maybe not design wise, but at least content wise, who they're talking about, what they're selling, all that good stuff, then it's a go for me. Okay, so the website is one thing. The other thing is right now I have a pending phone call. So recording my podcast is a way for me to get out of making this phone call. It's not that it's a bad phone call. I just don't like phone calls. I wasn't always like that. Like I used to love talking to my friends on the phone. But now I don't want to make a phone call. There's one person I like talking on the phone to. And that's my mom. I'm going to talk to her no matter what. I'm half sleep not feeling all that great. I want to hear from my mom. Sometimes I call her and I just am like, hey, mom, just need to hear your voice. Because that's what it is. I really just need to hear her voice and know that she's okay. And my mom lives like five minutes away from us. But even that five minutes seems far away with everything we got going on, everything she has going on. It's a lot. Um, now, as a company... If a client needed us to do something in relation to phone calls, we can do that. But that's the time schedule. We know what we're saying. But I feel like sometimes I can be awkward in conversation. 
And so to call somebody, I really just want to get right down to it. I don't have enough flowers and sunshine around my language um, to have a good conversation with strangers. So I have to really work on it. So if the call is scheduled ahead of time, I'm good because I'm I'm ready. I, I got my flowery language together. But aside from that, I don't. So I keep my phone on do not disturb. Everything goes to voicemail. And then um, I'll call or text you back. Just depends. <laughs> Just depends. Okay. <laughs> ah, creativity. I talked about that. That kind of spills over into the website, but it also spills over to, into social media too. I've been wanting to do, and this is not an issue, just, just stuff on my brain. I love videos. I love the concept of them, the ideas, even acting and dancing in front of them seems like so much fun. But then I get down to this whole thing that takes me back to pretty much the website issue too. Is like, what? What are you going to do? What are you going to say? Looks pretty cool. But what are you going to say? Maybe the video is ready, but what are you going to say? You got to say something in the captions. Can't just be a video. No, and you don't say anything. I let give people a heads up on what it's about. So that's the thing. It's part of energy. I fell off of my exercise regimen. And as I'm talking to you right now, I'm wondering if my exercise I know it has a lot to do with my energy level, but I wonder if that's contributing factor to my creativity. I hadn't thought about that until right this very moment that maybe my energy and my creativity. It points to my exercise regimen. I've been off my exercise regimen for a long time, months. I've been trying to get back, but I can't pinpoint set days and stuff. I'm doing something almost every single day. I don't like that. I don't like having to leave my house almost every single day. I miss being shut in. I miss the expectation of leaving your house. Um, yeah. I got to get on this exercise thing. I get to, I got to get back on it. It was my special me time. Oh, I miss it so. I really do, y'all. I miss the walks by myself. And the reason why I stopped walking by myself, I started getting like eerie feelings walking by myself. I hate that. I hate not feeling safe. So that kind of stopped my walks. Then my husband and I would walk, but it's not the same when you walk with somebody else. I can't talk to myself if somebody else is there. Because then the other person is going to want in on the conversation. <laughs> it just doesn't work the same. Okay, and the last thing is my schedule that all, you know, I, I think that fits in as well as adjusting this whole new schedule. Again, I talked about that already about I don't like having to leave home so much. I was able to be home seven days a week, every week. I loved it. Ah, but if I'm honest with myself, I haven't done that in a long time. Like since 2020, 2020 was the last time I had a schedule where I did not have to leave the house. Why do I feel like that was just a few months ago? That's so wrong. I'm blaming something on something that was so long ago. So that that part can't be true anymore because it's been two years since I had that kind of schedule. I think it's related to my exercise. I need to get back to exercising. So anyway, that's what's on my brain. I got a client's do list I got to work on. And that's just a little bit. Plus a phone call. Um... 
and then some stuff I want to do with you guys. So I just got to figure out some of the techie stuff and then I'll let you in on what it is and invite you to it. Um, it's related to Upwork, Connects Expiring, and something free that I want you guys to come and hang out with me. Maybe you have Expiring Connects on Upwork as well. Let's see what we can do about that. So anyway, thanks so much for listening today. Now, if this is your first time listening to the podcast, normally it's not a rambles of things. Normally I have a particular topic, but this is where I am today. You guys get that. I'm allowed to have that after so many episodes. Um, if nothing else, you know, you're not alone in this process. And again, no matter how long you've been in your business, there's always going to be some type of issues, contemplation, um, delays, you know how it goes. Business has highs and lows and plateaus. And so that's where we are. So anyway, thank you again for tuning in and watching. Um, come back next time. If you have a comment, post a comment below if you're watching on YouTube. Also, if you're watching on Facebook, if you are not on the email list, because I'm trying to figure out the best way to communicate with you guys regarding this free thing I want to do. I'm thinking the email list is probably the better way. And then the social media, um, Facebook would be the next way. But with the email, I don't know, you might miss that too. If you're not checking your email, if I'm landing in your spam, get me out of spam, put me on your whitelist. Uh, so anyway, if you're not, I'm not on your email list at all. Go ahead and text three, three, seven, seven, seven. You're going to text the phrase V a start that stands for virtual assistant start that will get you on the email list. I will have details about this in the next episode. Episode 226 is where we will talk about what it is that I want to do for us to hang out related to Upwork and connect. So anyway, I'll see you next time. You have a wonderful and fantastic day.